Dalton with Curse Grip. And we've been asked by a few people how we made this felt tabletop. All right, here are the things you need to make this felt tabletop. You need some felt, a hot glue gun with glue, some scissors, a marker, tape for rigidity on the corners, and a straight edge. All right, first thing we're gonna do is measure out how much we need of this felt. All right, place your cardboard on top. I do about an inch on all sides. So just have your straight edge. This doesn't have to be spot on. Just mapping out my cut line. And this doesn't have to be precise. We just like it clean. Then we're just going to cut along our line. It's easier if you have some sort of fabric scissors or a very good sharp pair of scissors. You'll want to try to cut on the outside of your line so that way you don't have any remaining marks on the rest of your felt material. But this will be the bottom anyway, so it will be noticeable. Right. And there's our excess fabric. And, all right, and I'm just going to tape the corners to give it a little more of a rigid edge cardboard tends to you know get a little dinged up and these corners are going to be the most prominent spots for that to happen don't need very much all right we have our rigid corners all right our hot glue gun is now warmed up so keep our weighted surface there i'm going to use some gloves so i don't get hot glue all over my hands and with your hot glue gun just kind of give a nice amount about an inch up. I'm going to kind of give some weight down to keep it tight and then I'm going to pull my felt taut. It doesn't have to be extremely taut, just enough and hold in place for a few seconds in the middle and then slowly continue that same process as you move down. Just kind of pulling and pressing. All right, now that we've done both of our short sides, pulled those tight, we'll start on our longer sides. We're gonna do the same process. Now we have a little excess on the edges, so I'm just gonna trim a bit off. It doesn't have to be precise. I'm just gonna cut. And your hot glue will come through the felt a little bit, but of course, again, this is the bottom, so it's not a big deal. Once your glue is dried, go ahead and give it a flip. See your nice felted play space. 